Today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to safely open an electrical panel. Um, we're gonna be using a drill, and you don't need a drill, you can use a manual screwdriver. I'm also gonna be using a magnet as well, and this helps just keep the panel in place and helps me use the drill as I can maneuver around. You guys will see that. And as well, um, uh, using some glasses. Um, this is just for safety. Um, you know, if a rare case, if there is arcing, you can protect your eyes. So the first thing you want to do when you inspect your panel, um, each panel is going to be different. So this, you know, this video can't cover every scenario. This panel has a little slit at the bottom, which most panels do. So for this one, all you have to do to open it is just push the slit down. And that's going to release the cover to the panel. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And sometimes it's a little bit hard because they haven't opened it in a while. So you might have to just move it a little bit, just like that. Sometimes they get stuck a little, but just move it around and maneuver it. Now, like I said, each panel is gonna be different. This can't cover everything, but the way you lock this one and the way you, most of them lock, is some type of a push mechanism that's gonna keep the panel in place. Now, the second thing you would wanna do is you would wanna look and see where all your screws are at and identify what type of drill bit you're gonna need to open the panel. Most panels use a regular flat head. So you can see this is just one screw down here and it uses just a flat head. So I'm already, I already have the proper um, drill bit as well. The next thing I would wanna say is if the house is vacant and there's nobody inside the house, then always turn off the main power because then there's no power running through the panel and you can safely not have to worry about shocks. I mean, you can still get shock in a rare case of a residual shock but it's very unlikely if you turn off the power. Now, if there's people inside the house living, you can't do that because it's gonna reset the clocks to the stoves, to the fridges, to everything like that. And if they're also working on the computer, they might get mad. So for in this sense, I can't do that because we have people living inside the house and I don't wanna reset everything. What I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm gonna take my magnet. I'm gonna take the top of these black things off and I'm gonna put them in my pocket. Now. The key to using this is you want to put it right in the center as much as possible. That way you can have a nice center to the panel that you want. So this is going to be used as a bridge, okay, to hold down. So we're going to put the drill bit in the left hand side. If you want to go ahead and get closer, about right here. And all I'm going to do is just remove the different drills. Alrighty, so we got it about here. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna look for a slip here. So I'm gonna look for a slip, about right in here, maybe, and go out. All right, so now from here, once you have, this is why I like the magnet, because what you wanna do for safety issues is you wanna hold this right here in the middle and you wanna use the panel as a cover. In the rare case that it does blow or there's a spark, when you pull away from the panel with the cover, I'll push this up a little bit. This is gonna be used as a shield for your face as I pull it away. Once I've established that I'm safe, I'm gonna go ahead and drop it. So you wanna use the panel as a shield. Then you can safely drop it side. Now you're safe to open and access the panel and inspect the panel, however you may be. Now, I just want to mention and show you guys here, this is a sub panel with six screws installed and the panel cover doesn't have a slit keeping it up. So in instances like this, you always want to keep contact with that magnet. The one outside I was able to let go because that cover had something holding it up. But you see here, as I go to switch to the other side, I'm going to hold the drill up between my legs as I keep contact with that metal magnet. Because if not, then this panel is going to fall as I unscrew these different screws. So just keep that. I just want to show you guys that just so you can keep that in perspective. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to safely open an electric panel. I just want to mention a few things before I let you guys go. Always inspect the panel for pre prior damage. So if it looks unsafe, maybe you see un, you know, wiring loose, maybe you see a circuit breaker that's missing, maybe you see signs of previous arcing that might have occurred, you always take the proper precautions and it's always safe to not open the panel at that point. 